Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new segment called Emily Eats. If you know me, you know I'm a big foodie. I love to eat, I love to cook, I love to bake. I just love food. And so today it's very rainy outside and I thought we'd bring some warmth into the kitchen. And so we are going to be making these apple bars. So if you wanna find out how to make this, um, the first step says to preheat oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so while the oven is preheating, we have to grease our pan, which I have. Okay, I have the pan right here, and we have to grease it. This is an eight by eight. It's supposed to be a nine by nine, but I don't think it'll make that big of a difference. So, so the next thing I'm gonna do is wash core and cut my apples. I don't like big apple chunks, so I'm probably going to make them pretty small. So I'm going to go wash them real fast. And I should have bought this up before. You might be wondering why there's one green apple and there's one red apple. It said any variety and I couldn't pick. So we've got one of each, and I'm, it might taste a little bit weird because of it, but we're just making the dish more dynamic. So, so I'm just gonna go in and cut these apples. All right, so the green apples are all chopped up. Now I'm gonna chop up this red apple. Hey guys, we are back. I have the red apples chopped up. I have the green apples chopped up. And now it's just time to mix everything together. I'm just gonna pour the mix that it comes with in here. It doesn't say to do this, but I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the apples. Just a little bit to add some color and to give it a really good flavor. The mix itself has some cinnamon in it, but the apples don't have anything on them, so I thought it'd be a kind of a good idea to sprinkle some cinnamon. So I'm just gonna mix that up like that. And then I'm just gonna dump them in the batter. Well, in the mix, it's not batter yet. So. Doesn't that look so pretty though? Last ingredient is just two eggs. We we're actually supposed to dye these eggs for Easter, but I'm gonna add a little bit more cinnamon. And we're just gonna mix this all together until a thick batter forms. It smells really, really good. Very apple-y, but very good. Just a pro tip, I should, probably should have mixed the eggs in the batter like, together first and then just kind of folded the apples in, but it didn't say to do that, so I just kind of dumped it all in, but it is a bit difficult to stir with the apples and the eggs and this mix, so yeah, I'm going to be here for a minute. Good news, I think we're all mixed up. So now I can get my pan right here. And we can get in. So now I'm gonna pop this baby into the oven for 33 to 36 minutes or until the crust is golden brown. So I just took it out of the oven and you're supposed to wait 30 minutes to let it cool but I just can't wait, so I'm going to grab a plate and dig in right now. 
Mm. That is so good. Really worried the cinnamon was gonna be overpowering, but it's definitely not. And actually having both the red and the green apple chunks was a really good decision because together they kind of have, you know, like two different flavors, like it's a different flavor in each bite. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment down below if you tried this recipe and what your favorite dessert is. Be sure to hit the like and the subscribe and I will see you soon. Mwah.